Hello and welcome to Time Series Forecasting. In this video, I'm going to talk about our first model that we can use to decompose our YT series into three components. The seasonal component, trend cycle component and the remainder component. In this video, I'll talk about the additive model and in the next video, I'll talk about uh, the multiplicative model to decompose a YT series into these three components. Okay, so the first method that we can use to decompose our series into those three components that I talked about is called the additive model. That is, all those three components enter additively in the model. The additive model is used for a data or a time series if the magnitude of the seasonal or uh, this trend cycle does not vary with the level of series. For example, you may observe a series uh, YT uh, in this fashion and see we are observing uh, some uh, seasonal pattern in the series as well as uh, the trend in the series. But if we look closely, the seasonal pattern, it is pretty regular and it's not changing as we are moving uh, in time. And similarly, the trend cycle is pretty stable across various parts of the series, which means uh, both the trend cycle and the seasonal patterns, uh, they do not vary a lot across different parts of the series and hence we can decompose this YT series into three of its components uh, in the additive form. So we're gonna decompose our YT series into these three components by using uh, this model. In the next video, I'm gonna talk about uh, the second model that you can use to decompose uh, any time series Y into three of its components and that will be the multiplicative model. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.